Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Catching Them All Part 6 and we'll begin by apologizing I really should have gotten this video to you sooner but laziness and Thanksgiving got in the way of that so in any case you're starting off strong he's got an Eevee which is always a good Pokemon to have I do want to eventually get that Sylveon, but X and Y is needed. We start off strong, going for a Ghastly. You don't have me out. I was not smart on this part. Oh well. Oh, I forgot I had a bite. Come on. I guess I could say a few. Well, let me begin by saying my favorite Pokemon. Uh, I think I've already said it on another video, but my favorite is uh, Zangus. Lo and behold, I'm in Generation, playing Generation Three. And what's to say about Zangus? Like, I don't know why, but I really, really like that Pokemon. It's like, uh, like an awesome dog that you want to keep, I guess. Like, like, nobody wants to, like, mess with it or something. I don't know. And, uh, Cubone. Do not use on the MK. A long while since the last time I played Pokemon. I sort of forgot everything about it. <laughs> Took me a little bit just to switch out that Pikachu. And, oh man, EV don't really have any good moves. But, um, oh yeah. I, I, I really don't know why I, I just do I just really like it and if I had to pick another Pokemon I would go with Lucario I really like the uh, well not the no way <laughs> I really like the way he looks like a uh, He's like, look, like a martial artist looking Pokemon that wears shorts. I'm a huge fan of shorts, but I still don't like the way he looks. And he got some good, powerful moves too. Like a pseudo legendary Pokemon. Some Pokemon trying to be legendary or something. I still like it. And a wild haunter. You do not look so scary. Now that you are paralyzed. <laughs> I remember that now. They used to all back when I had the original games, they used to always get me with that confused ray. And that would always be the first thing they would do to me. Like the most annoying thing they could do to you. Oh, you're now confused. Oh, you're now confused. I think that's how they took out half my Pokemon back in the day. Ha. Find it funny that I keep using a normal type against ghost types. That bite is no joke. Don't hurt yourself, don't hurt that. Of course you hurt yourself. I'm playing Pokemon. You're gonna hurt yourself. 
Aha. Joe. I do like the fact that now those type moves don't affect normal types. That was sort of broken in the original. Uh, psychic types were the most broken ones, but still. If I had to choose what my favorite generation of Pokemon is, I would say third generation right here. And although I will admit that I'm sort of tired of playing the, journey, the third generation right about now, I would say it's still my favorite. Simply because it has like all the innovations at the time. Granted they took out the day and night system. I really enjoyed that in the second gen. But really, it was really a step up from before. Aside from the day and night system taken out. Like the Pokemon were in full color. You had awesome new Pokemon. That's also another reason why I love it so much. Most of my favorite Pokemon are from the third generation. Like Gardevoir, Absol, Zangus, third generation all the way. The fourth generation was just it was just alright. I mean they had some interesting Pokemon, but it just didn't like pack the punch the third gen had. They had, I mean, they had the uh, touch screen use and all that, but it was like, like it could have, they could have done a lot, a lot more for it, I guess. During that time, but I guess when you're trying to make it go online and whatnot, I guess it takes up a lot of resources. And I apparently really, uh, really like using that EV. And goodbye EV. <laughs> That's about the best you can do against that powerhouse. Um, and yeah, right there. I'm basically just lowering its stats so it'd be easier to catch. Cause if I remember correctly, the first time, the first go around catching this thing, it took way too long, like a solid 10 minutes. And since I'm trying to shorten my videos so that they won't be 30 minutes, it's like, nah, I'm going to do this you know, minimum of 5 minutes to catch this thing. Although I think I went over that anyways. But as always, Snorlax is always tough to catch. So that's what I sort of like about it. It was hard to catch. Couldn't just throw a Pokeball and expect it to stay in there. Nah. It's gotta it's gonna fight you. And Yes, I am using that Cubone I caught. Cubone is really good to use in the party. Got pretty good defenses. And having a ground type in there is always a help. And Bone Moraine. Used with focus energy. That's pretty deadly. I have to admit, I'm like really, really rusty on Pokemon. Haven't played the series in a long time. I can't even like tell you most of the Pokemon now. It's still a great series. I still sort of want an MMO, like a full HD Wii U MMO made of it. I think that would be, I think they could do it, 
I mean, this is Nintendo. They've made, like, they pretty much made most of the genres of the game. Platforming. <laughs> yeah, they pretty much made most of the genres. <laughs> And one thing I have to admit is, it's like, I'm getting really like tired of people saying that Nintendo's like should stick using, stick to using software. And you, everybody knows that's not going to happen. Like, not even, it's not going to happen. That's like losing Goku in Dragon Ball Z. It, it'll go away for a while, but he's going to be back. This is like, Nintendo is like the, one of the cornerstones of gaming. You can't really just get get rid of them like that. And really, they've been seeing that for a long time. I mean, a really long time. 20 years ago long. Like, as soon as the Genesis came out. That's what, they were seeing the exact same thing they're seeing right now. And Nintendo is going to go down the drain, Nintendo's gonna die, Nintendo should stop with the hardware, so on and so forth, it's like, no, this is, it's really, it's really tiresome right about now, I mean really, you can't, you're not, you haven't gotten rid of them 20 years ago, you're not gonna get rid of them for the next 20 years. They finally got the next new consoles out, which is, which is good, I guess, I mean, it's gonna happen sooner or later, and they always release their new consoles after Nintendo, anyways, it, it's all expected, and really, I don't see how they could sell so many Xbox, oh snap, Zangoose, a uh, female one, but I, I still catch it. My favorite Pokemon. Right there. But anyway, it's, I don't see how they managed to sell all those Xboxes. I mean, I know there's fan service for that thing, but after all they've been through, I don't see how they could sell so many of those things. It's like all the things that they said. The way they marketed it. Well, I, you get what you you get what you buy, I guess. I mean, <laughs> if you want to use it, if you want that big old thing in your house, go ahead. Yeah, but it, you know, I really don't get it. How they sold so many? That thing. Me personally, I would have just switched to uh, the PS4. It's cheaper, it's more powerful. It, uh, I guess there's some real fans of the series right there. I guess. And it's actually sort of hard to believe that it outsold the Wii U. And, and already got to the millions. It's, I mean. That's really hard to believe. I know that we use whole like 400,000 stuff and whatnot, but... I don't see how... I really don't see how... But... All things... They, they've always said, like, we use... The Wii isn't gonna make it. The Wii outsold everybody else. And now, they're pretty much saying the same thing about the Wii U. And again, not surprised. They've been saying this all this time. Why stop now? And thus, I catch a soul rock. I think it's ugly. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
can I cannot wait for Smash Four. I mean, I, I just can't wait for it. it's gonna be off the chain. They got Sonic in there. They got Mega Man in there. I'm definitely gonna be using Mega Man all the time. And for a while, I thought they were going to just throw in Ryu or Ryu or however you say his name in there because, you know, what all the cancel games have been going for in the Mega Man series. I, I, I sort of thought that would happen, but I'm actually a bit surprised. And I didn't think he would have that type of moveset though, where you just use all that all those powers and all his old powers and junk. I thought he he would have like uh, like a unique attack set or something from Marvel vs. Capcom. I think they got the mega upper from that, but that's about it. And I also thought he would copy people's abilities as well, like have Kirby copy their like neutral B move and then have Mega Man copy their like forward special move forward B move that would have been that would have been a lot more interesting I guess but I haven't played the game yet so what do I know Smash 1 I think that's what's gonna help the Wii U catch up to the rest of the competition. Really I thought they would have that coming out of the coming out of the box of the system, but uh, I guess you can't do everything. Hmm. <laughs> Unless I catch the slack off. Hmm. One thing I did forget to catch is the Torkoal. I didn't know they were in that fiery path. But then again, they haven't popped up for me until after I defeated the... after I defeated Flannery. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to look that up later. See why, see why that is. I mean, that's a really weird looking Pokemon right there. It's a pig with a spring tail. I mean, I know they often portray with having like coiled up tails and everything, but so that's not like really. Does it even have legs? I, I don't think it even have legs. weirdest looking well there's I think there's like weirder looking Pokemon than that but still it's just it's still pretty weird looking but so uh, well coming to the end of the video I wish I had uh brought a co-host but most people were busy so thanks for watching and I got a why not I forgot about that thing Okay, thanks for watching and come again.